In this problem, once again, we're looking at the photoelectric effect. So ultraviolet light with a frequency of 3 times 10 to the 15th hertz strikes a metal surface and ejects electrons that have a maximum kinetic energy of 6.1 electron volts. So once again, I'm going to draw my picture here. We have a metal surface. This is going to be our metal surface. We're going to come in with... In this case, we're using ultraviolet light, who has a frequency of 3 times 10 to the 15th hertz. Okay, And we're going to photo eject out an electron. Now, that electron is going to have a kinetic energy equal to 6.1 electron volts. And we'll convert this into joules since that's what we're used to doing. And what we ultimately want to, and, and what's happening is though is as this electron is being photo ejected the atom itself doesn't want to give up that electron it wants to hold on to that electron and it's particularly if it's going to be a core level electron which is going to be extremely close to the nucleus it doesn't want to give up that electron so what we want to do is we want to determine the work function of the metal basically how much does that electron kind of want, how much does that metal want to hold on to that electron? And so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to convert the kinetic energy into joules. So we have a kinetic energy which is equal to 6.1 electron volts. Now we can convert that into joules and that is one electron volt is equal to 1.602 times 10 to the negative 19th joules is what that is. Our electron volts are going to cancel and the units we end up getting is 9.77 times 10 to the negative 19th joules is what that's going to be. So that's going to be our kinetic energy. Now, we need to determine the energy of the light. So we can determine the energy of the light. So H nu is going to be light, and that is equal to H nu. So this is the energy of the light, and H is going to be Planck's constant, which is 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34 joule times a second times the frequency now the frequency here is 3 times 10 to the 15th hertz. A hertz is an inverse second. So this would be 3 times 10 to the 15th second. The seconds cancel and we're in units of joules. We're in units of joules. And so when we do this calculation, what we get is we get 1.988 times 10 to the negative, I got 18 joules. That's the energy of the light. This is the kinetic energy of the actual electron. Now, the energy of the electron that gets e ejected is equal to the kinetic energy plus the work function. All right, plus the work function. And so what we want to do is we want to determine the work. What is the work function? So we want to solve this for work. So work is equal to the energy of the light, the energy of the light, minus the kinetic energy of the ejected electron. So this would be our energy of the light. I'm going to use a different variable symbol for that. I'm going to use H nu. I'm going to try to just be consistent. This is the energy of the light that comes in. And this would be H nu once again. All right. Now, we want to find the work. What is going to be the work function? And so we simply plug in our numbers into this. So energy of the light is going to be 1.988 times 10 to the negative 18th of a joule minus the kinetic energy, which is 9.77 times 10 to the negative 19th joules. 
we do that calculation, we come up with 1.01 .01 times 10 to the negative 18th. Oops, that was, yeah, I'll make it a little bit better, 18 on that. It's hard writing on this plastic. 18th of a joule is what that becomes. Now, if we want to convert that into electron volts, which is what it asks for, so we're perfectly fine with We've now calculated the energy. Now, if we want to calculate in terms of the electron volt, we have to do the opposite of this in that we're going to divide by 1.602 times 10 to the negative 19th. And so we end up with 1.01 .01 times 10 to the negative 18th joules. And we're going to determine that one electron volt is equal to 1.602 times 10 to the negative 19th joules. Our joules cancel. And what we end up with for the work energy is going to be 6.31 electron volts. 6.31 electron volts. This is going to be the work function of the metal. This is how strong really the metal wants to hold on to that electron. But the light is so much so that it, it, the, the light that comes in is so much greater in energy that it actually can overcome the work energy. And on top of it, it gives it 6.1 electron volts of kinetic energy as it's re being removed or as it's being stripped away from the metal. If you have any, any more questions on photoelectric effect or anything else in this chapter, please let me know.